My name is Mike with Weekend Warrior BBQ and today we're going to make some barbecue pork tenderloin sandwiches. And we start with a red onion. You want to cut this into some thicker slices, I'd say about three quarters to one inch thick. So that'll just be a couple of slices. And then we're gonna drizzle those with some olive oil. And then we can set these aside until we're ready to put them on the grill. And then for our pork tenderloin, usually you get two in a pack. This is one of the most affordable meats right now, which is why I love using it for this. We're gonna get it out of the pack, rinse it off. And then what you've got is some fat and some silver skin that is not going to be pleasant to eat. So we're gonna trim as much of this off as we can. And then we're gonna take a little bit of olive oil and rub these down. This is going to help our seasonings stick to the pork. And then you can keep it simple with just some salt and pepper. I'm going to use my homemade pork rub. So this is really easy to make. Stick around to the end and I'll show you where you can find that. Um, and we're going to go a nice heavy coat. Help us build up a crust as we put these on the grill. And we'll let this sit for about five minutes while our grill grates get nice and hot. Then we'll lay these down. They will not take that long to cook. You want to take them to a minimum of 145 degrees Fahrenheit. No more than 150, I'd say. And then we'll lay out our onions. So I kept them thick so that they would hold together like this. What we're looking for is a nice crust, just like that. It's been about three minutes. Want to get these onions nice and grilled, build up a little bit of char. And as soon as you get that nice initial crust down there, that's when I like to start brushing some barbecue sauce. Use your favorite store-bought sauce. This happens to be my homemade cherry barbecue sauce. Stick around to the end and I'll show you that as well. All right, same for the onions. And it's been three minutes now on this side, so we'll flip them again. We're sitting at about 120. So we're coming up pretty quick. We're gonna brush again. Give our onions a flip. These are just about done. Really nice and soft. It's gonna bring out the sweetness. And then same thing. Give these a brush on this side. And the onions are done. I'm calling it on those. So these can set to the side. It'll just be a couple more minutes before these are ready to go on the sandwiches. And our pork tenderloin is getting close. Flip that over, brush it on top of that. It's really nice, nice char marks on there. And now's a good time if you want to toast your buns, just using a nice hoagie roll. Go ahead and get a little toast on there. And then this goes to the cutting board to rest for about five minutes. And now for the fun part. So this one is rested for about five minutes, like I said. You want to cut it as thin as you possibly can without hurting yourself. And you want to go across the grain. So it's going to be this way. And we're just going to start here on the end. Let the knife do the work. So here's how the rest of this goes down. Barbecue sauce. Top and bottom bun. Grilled barbecued red onions. Get a nice helping of the pork. And then any kind of green that you like. 
I'm gonna put on some baby arugula. Brush a little barbecue sauce on here for the thumbnail. Let's cut into it. And you can check out my pork rub recipe in this video right here and my cherry barbecue sauce recipe right there. Let's get a bite. Mmm. 